master guests, one of whom is my husband. Uh, this was totally unplanned, so I, I always have stuff with me in my briefcase that I'm working on. Focus is a very good word for me at this time. I have a very demanding day job, so I have to have a lot of focus to get everything done in there. And I think some of you know that I'm writing a book, and that's the main reason I've been coming to Toastmasters to get ready for my grand lecture tour to talk about the book. I should be so lucky, but that's going on in the back of my mind. So I'm focused on getting the book written, and I hope to have that accomplished by Labor Day of 2014, and I hope to have the current chapter I'm working on finished by a week from today. That means I will be halfway through. Now, the title of the book is inflammatory. It is 10 Tough Problems in Christian Thought and Belief. Wait for it, subtitle. A minister turned atheist shows why you should ditch the faith. So I know that many people in Toastmasters who are religious will say, every time I get up to speak, oh no, not again. <laughs> but here I am. <laughs> the title of my speech is Two Very Different Kinds of Christianity. By one estimate I recently read, there are indeed 30,000 different brands of Christianity. 30,000 different denominations, churches, sects, cults. It's a faith that has splintered and morphed enormously over the centuries. And I want to talk to you about two, maybe three, very different kinds of Christianity. For example, I'm going to read you a list. How do you prove that somebody is a Christian? What are the signs that somebody is a Christian? I'm going to quote to you this one. People who are baptized in Jesus, one, will be able to cast out demons. <laughs> they will speak in new tongues. <laughs> okay? They, <laughs> I'm trying to learn French. I know what they're talking about. <laughs> they will be able to pick up snakes. <laughs> they will be able to drink poison. And they will be able to lay their hands on people and heal them. Now you go into any, well almost any, you go into any Christian church on a Sunday morning and you ask the people in the pews, could you pass that test? Picking up snakes, drinking poison, talking in new tongues, casting out demons, putting your hands on people and they'll be healed? Most would say, no, that's not my kind of Christianity. Well, who did this list come from? This is a quote from Jesus in the 16th chapter of Mark. The resurrected Jesus, no less. What more do you want in terms of authentication? There's a little caveat here. The 16th chapter of Mark is not authentic. This comes from the so-called fake or false ending to the Gospel of Mark. It was added after the Gospel of Mark was written. It was tacked on later by somebody else. But that was a prevailing thought amongst some groups of early Christians. So that's the Gospel of Mark, chapter 16. Now let me read you another quote from the Gospel. This comes from Matthew. You have heard that it was said, an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. But I say to you, do not resist an evildoer. Think about that. Do not resist an evildoer. If anyone strikes you on the right cheek, turn the other also. If anyone wants to sue you and take your coat, give him your cloak as well. And if anyone forces you to go one mile, go the second mile. Give to everyone who begs from you, and do not refuse anyone who wants to borrow from you. That's from the Sermon on the Mount. Those are also words of Jesus, supposedly. It's a huge problem in New Testament scholarship. What actually are the words of Jesus? It's a very complex topic 
We don't know really how the words of Jesus would have been recorded in the first place. But that's another story. But if you walked into most Christian churches on a Sunday morning and said, do you follow all of those? Most people, just like those who would say, no, I don't want to pick up snakes and drink poison. Most of the people in Christian congregations would not agree to any of those lofty moral values in the Sermon on the Mount. So the first kind of Christianity is the one where, and there are sects, there are groups of Christianity, uh, Christians who believe in being able to pick up snakes and drink poison as a test of their Christianity. There are Christians who follow this text from uh, the Sermon on the Mount, and they're known as Quakers. They really are pacifists. There's a third kind of Christianity. I was so offended <clears throat> last year on Christmas Eve. Christmas Eve was just 10 days after the massacre in Newton, Connecticut. 20 children shot dead and six adults. The gunmen used bullets that when they penetrate flesh, they tear the bodies apart. And the first responders were so horrified, horrified by what they saw. Ten days later, at a Christmas Eve party, at the home of a pious Catholic friend of mine, during grace, she made reference to the massacre. She said, God must have wanted more angels. I was so offended by that. It was such a grotesque thing to say. I wanted to walk out of the room. And that's another kind of Christianity that I want nothing whatever to do with. Thank you.